be the plan, that's what they call me I promise that you'll never be lonely Be the plan, that's what they call me Come on in y'all to this nightly movie With this hood girl to the hood Come on in y'all Y'all see I'm so glad that y'all came back so come on in, bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water. Bring your food and snacks that sit and chat with who? This hood girl to the hood. Hey, y'all. Uh, this is take two. Uh-huh, it's back. And the director is leftovers. Y'all know, it's still eating good, say, waste not, won't not. It's still in effect. Okay, every day. So this is scene Oh, this is scene two, y'all, because this is the second time I recorded today. So this is scene two, take one. Let's roll the tape. How y'all doing tonight? I know y'all have seen these clothes before, but this is two videos in one day. Normally, I would put on another shirt, but what the hell? A video is a video is a video. Okay, y'all, let's say prayers. Thank you, Father God, for this another day. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Y'all, I'm hungry too. And I didn't know if I wanted to do um, these pinto beans, but they really are good. So I had to bring back the pico. That, you know, it's, I think I have two more days. So I told y'all, you know, I'm going to use it. <laughs> oh, y'all, let's toast. For a good night. So salute, salute. Let's sip, sip this good water. Mm -hmm. Oh, cheers. Y'all, I got the hot sauce too. But let's do the pico. Y'all, I just love pico. I do. I have, I think I have some turkey. Sausage in the uh, in the freezer. Maybe in the morning if I feel like it, I'll do uh, some scrambled eggs with the rest of this pico and some sausage and maybe another pot of grits. Who knows? I don't know what I'm going to feel like uh, in the morning. Tomorrow is not even yet. So look y'all, what are y'all having for dinner? Mmm, y'all. This looks so good. Now, y'all know this is leftovers. So, for y'all who like the leftovers, here. I'm going to give y'all a piece of this roast. It's still so good. But, you know, I'm done with this food now. I'm going to put these pinto beans in the freezer. And the roast, uh, kicking it with Lynn, uh, said on, my, on one of my videos that I can make a pot of stew. Um... However, I don't like stew, but I think I will chop it up when I do spaghetti and put it on my, in my spaghetti as well. I don't know. Oh, I could, oh, never mind. I can make some sandwiches. Here you go. Yum, yum. Give me some. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all. I need a hot sauce. You know, the, the, I think the Astros are on the TV, y'all. But, of course, I, I turned the volume down. I think the Astros. Last night. Oh, good Lord. What was wrong with the Dallas Cowboys? They went to sleep. Y'all, every time I get on here, I forget to do this during timer. So, how are you guys? How, how is the second day of the week? It is Tuesday. Mm -hmm. mm. Today... Y'all been craving some uh, crawfish, y'all, right? Because I only had crawfish twice in the beginning of crawfish season, right before COVID came and knocked on our door and sat on our steps for a long, but slept on our steps. So I was looking at Kuzo AB or Kuzo AB and a, a week ago, I think. And see... Showed us how to do a frozen bag of crawfish. So, I have a cucumber in the refrigerator. 
I got some leftover butter sauce that I froze that I made myself two weeks ago. Because if y'all see, you know, I'm not doing the seafood like I was. But I'm still going to eat my seafood. Uh, so I'm just going to do the, the crabs. And uh, right now, uh, the cucumbers. But my mind telling me to go to back to the store. Well, to the fresh market, actually. And get a snow crab. Or a Dungeness crab. Or something. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'll just eat the crawfish. I don't know. Well, and the cucumber. Hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm, this is so good. I had a lot of people tell me they like pinto beans. You know, and you know what? What else is y'all favorite bean? Black eyed peas is for me. And them great northern beans? Oh my. I can cook them real good too. Mm-hmm. I can do uh, fresh green beans really well as well. I like to cook the fresh green beans for Thanksgiving. Yeah. I already told y'all I got my menu already uh, mapped out for Thanksgiving. Mm. 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 Well, if, if I can say this, y'all, it's the third time I had the pinto beans, it's fiber. It's fiber, 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 and fiber. Oh, what y'all say? Oh, I didn't give y'all a bite of the pinto beans today, huh? Well, here you go. Yum, yum, give me some. Y'all, I'm going to have to make, well, I probably don't have to make it. Because don't some stores... I think in one of our stores, Randall's, I think, I think they have cornbread in the bakery section, so I don't have to make that big old pan. Okay. Next time I do a meal like this, I'm, I'm going to buy my cornbread. I hope it's good, though. Because one time I bought it like two years ago, it was dry. I do not like dry cornbread. Unless I make my cornbread, like for Thanksgiving, my homemade cornbread, I make it like three days before because I like that to dry out for the dressing. It's the difference. I make a, a really good pan of uh, cornbread dressing too, y'all. Really good. Look at I'm getting full. Beans. <laughs> what was that, um, uh, what was that saying, um, uh, when we was little kids? I don't know if all y'all said it, but not our neighborhood, we said it, said, beans, beans, they're good for your heart. The more you eat them, the more you fought. <laughs> How many of y'all remember that? Comment below. Mm-hmm. Back in the day, 
You know, if you listen to our ancestors, you know, they say, you know, in the 60s, well, for us black people, that is. It was rough. It was tough. You know, with the wars, it was rough and it was tough. And we still say the same right now. In certain situations. You know, life really does come back into full circle. Y'all know that. You know, something I read in the Bible this morning, it put me in the mind of my middle son. So I have to pray for him a little harder. Because he like, he has a little bitterness in his spirit when we talk. Not, 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 for, not for me though, y'all. For other people who he felt didn't do right by him. The other day we was talking and I said, wait a minute, hold up, hold up. I said, do you understand you're not God? I said, do you feel like you're a savior or something, boy? I said, don't be no fool. I mean, he said something that really didn't make no sense to me. He said, like, if I did wrong and I, and I made bad decisions and, uh, and you know, nobody tell me, you know, you know that's wrong. Fool, you have to think about it before you did it. You knew it was wrong before the hell you did it. Now, why somebody got to come and tell you after you've done it that you did wrong? Shut up. So you sound like a crazy man. If you choose to do something wrong, you have to think about it first. Now help me understand again why you think that somebody have to come and tell you you know that that was wrong. Y'all, does that make any sense? It makes sense to me. You know, one thing I told my boys, y'all was not raised to be criminals at all. You were taught morals and respect, right from wrong. But if you go outside of this house and follow your friends or whomever you choose to follow, and you get in trouble, if I tell you I'm going to come to jail and see you, I'm lying. Because I'm not going to travel to and from wherever they put you where you could have been home. Because you made a foolish mistake. Because you knew better when you did it. Okay? Mm -mm. And I'm not going to be obligated to, to send all my money to your jail or to what you call it. I don't know what you call it. What you call it, y'all? Commissary? I don't know. I ain't going to feel obligated to do that either. I'll send you some. But I ain't going to be obligated to send you some every week or every two weeks as my paycheck come in. Because you could have been out here with your free life. But you chose to do some foolish, crazy stuff. That's a choice. Deal with it. Suffer the consequences. Mm hmm. Hmm. And I was an old school mama. And I'm an old school grandmother as well.
get out there and do wrong what you want to. Don't look for me to, to, to come and see you. I'll write you a letter here now. But I'm not going to feel obligated to do that either. My obligation is to keep praying. For you. I got some gristle down. I'll I don't care what I eat. I cannot eat the gristle. I don't care how soft it is. Okay, I'm full. Huh. But you know, when you have good food, you just want to keep eating it. Mm. That was a lie. So mothers and fathers, how do y'all feel about that? If you if you know you raised your child good and they chose to do something wrong, would you award them when they go to jail? I can't eat no more. I put a big dent in it though. Cause that's good. That's really good. So look at y'all. I'm not gonna keep y'all any longer. We have three minutes left over, but we we gonna save those. So let's cancel that timer. Thank y'all so much for coming and sit with me at my table and listen to me. I'm gonna be re I'm gonna be reading your comments like I always do, cause I love it. Oh, excuse me, I'm better. Excuse me. Mm. Thank you for support. Thank you for sticking and staying. I love you. So let's get ready to sing us up. Oh, yeah. That, that means it's good. Oh, that means it's good food. You know that, right? <laughs> so let's get ready to sing ourselves out. Y'all ready? <clears throat> get your voices ready. It's time to say goodbye for now. We'll have another chance to ride on the other side. Whatever you do for the rest of this evening, do it good, do it with purpose, and do it with genuine love. I love all you hustlers. Bye.